Now, with our clean, green image, our strong dairy and tourism sectors and unique culture, our kids are pretty lucky to be growing up in the land of the long white cloud. So how can parents help instill that sense of pride? Joining us today on And Mum Pedia Pro 3 Coffee Group is Dave Atkinson from The Parenting Place and mum and businesswoman Belinda Jane. Good morning to you both. Hello. Hello. Really nice to have you here. First up, Belinda, let's start with you. What do you think is so special about being Kiwi? Oh, everything. I... From the fact that we are quite isolated, I think helps. The fact we have Māori culture, you know, we are we have a beautiful country that we live in. But as a, a Kiwi, as a person, I believe it's all about we're free thinkers, we're adventurous, we're risk takers. Yeah. We're just awesome. We are, and we've got such a melting pot of cultures yes. here. It's just so yes. fascinating to live here, isn't it? It's it great. Is. Uh, Dave, what do you think is important? Is it important to recognise our culture? Oh, I mean, culture is uh, its the water we swim in, and often we don't even realise that it's shaping everything about the world. It's shaping how we see ourselves, how we um, choose to spend our time and our money, what we view as yeah. success, how we right wrongs, and, and what's important in life. And so thinking about young people growing up in New Zealand, it's important to have that conversation about, well, what is unique about Aotearoa? And you've obviously said a few things. I mean, yeah. I love our ingenu ingen sorry, ingenuity. Yeah, that's number eight wire thing, yeah, yes. isn't it? You know, yeah. we um, build rockets, we build jetpacks, you know, we, we think we can kind of do anything do and do anything. it better than the rest of the world and, and I love that. And I also love the Pacific and Māori influence um, yeah. in New Zealand. You know, I think there's some great aspects of those cultures that we can learn a lot from. Mm -hmm. You know, their emphasis on Fano, their emphasis on whakapapa, on the fact that you're not um, here uh, as an individual, but we're here yes. as a collective. We belong, right, yeah. to a community. Exactly, mm, yes. and I think any young person growing up in New Zealand asking that question of who am I and where do I belong, well, there's some, you know, there's some rich history here that they're part of. You're absolutely right. Mm. It's a big question to ask too. Belinda, do you include te reo in your in your household? As much as I can right now. So it's more sprinkling in words, you know, like, do you need to go to the fari paku? Do you, <laughs> you know, um, it's, cool. yeah, you know, things like that, having a moi, but I want to get into more phrases. Mm. It, and it's easy to do now because there are more yes. tools online and in book form too. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Which is good. Dave, for those who don't speak fluently, what is your advice for getting started in a bit of te reo? Yeah, I mean, I'm on the journey myself, learning what it, um, what it means to be a New Zealander and, and how cool. to, you know, use te reo Māori in my everyday. Um, our um, staff at Parenting Place are learning te reo and we're learning it this year. We're doing it through Tawananga o Aotearoa. Mm -hmm. So I'd recommend anyone who's really interested in I've learning. I've looked at it. I want to yep, do it. It's free. 30,000 people go through it each year. So that's a great place to start. Mm -hmm. Phrases. I mean, I've got a little two and a half year old, so I'm trying to teach him just little phrases. So kia ora and um, ka kiti anō, which means I'll see you again. And uh, every day when I get home, he looks at me and he puts his arm out and he goes, hi de mai, hi de mai. And uh, I think that's pretty lovely. That's so awesome. just little phrases like that I think are, are important. And that is good. And when you're incorporating it from such a young age, it just becomes natural and it's just part of, as you say, part, yes. of, part of life. Well, you know, the interesting thing about growing up in Aotearoa is that uh, primary school kids are learning a lot of te reo Māori yes, and so yes. I think as parents it's actually something that we need to step up mm. into and yeah. actually learn because otherwise our kids are going to leave us in their dust. And we shouldn't be embarrassed about having to learn it as an adult either, no. we should just go ahead and do it. Or, yeah. or worrying about the pronunciation, yeah. it's like just try, just, just do stuck it. In. We're New Zealanders, we should totally. know Māori. Do a piece of number eight wire or so. <laughs> exactly. uh, so what should we tell our kids about the Treaty of Waitangi? That's a good one. Mm. You know, <laughs> on Waitangi Day we celebrate. Um, I say to my daughter, Layla, we're celebrating being a New Zealander. Um, but she does understand, even at eight, that it was a document that was signed mm. under slightly false pretenses. Um, but we're working through it, you know, mm. and, to, you know, we need to be together. Like I said, we belong. Yeah, we actually wrote an article at The Parenting Place. So if you go to theparentingplace.com and look up um, how to talk about, mm. we wrote something about how, how do you talk about the treaty. It is it is huge. And, and I think as well it's important for us to sort of check what we think about it. A lot yeah. of people look mm. at it as just a holiday. Maybe they see it as a historical document. But the way I look at it and the way that I, I'm going to teach Harley, my little boy, about it is um, it's, a, it's, it's a unique document. Yeah. You know, no other yes. country in the world has it. It's a, um, a commitment from the Pākehā to honour the original people of this land. It's an incredibly generous gesture from Māori towards Pākehā yes, to share their land and it's a it's an ambitious dream about two people sharing a country and I think that's something that's um, pretty special I love a um, Māori whakatoki that says kia whakato muri te haere whakamua which means um, as we walk into the past backwards we set our eyes on the past and, um, and I love that, that you know, we aren't here um, in isolation we're part of a history, yes. the treaty is something that's shaped 
us and our te roa. Mm. It's something we should celebrate. It's something we should wrestle with. It's something we should ignore. ask about. We exactly. shouldn't ignore it. Ask Excellent. questions, figure it out. We should go check out your website too. Hey, that was great. Thank you guys. Great chat Thank today. Cool. So thanks for joining us today, Dave and Belinda.